Hello everyone, this is Alor Air Sentinel HD55 Dehumidifier. In this video, I'll be unboxing it so for you to see what's in the box. I'll also be telling you about its specifications and of course I'll be operating it and showing you how to operate it and I'm gonna also show you how to clean it, like cleaning the filter and cleaning the coil. So let's open the box. You have a user manual and this box can be removed like this which is really very good. So this is a humidifier. You have a power cord that is already connected to it. And this is for the duct. And I'm gonna tell you afterwards why you need it and how to use it. And this is a drain pipe. And it has here two handles so to carry it easily. So this is everything you get in the box. Let me cover now the specifications of this dehumidifier. So this dehumidifier is suitable for a place of 1300 square feet. It works on 110 volts 60 hertz. It needs 4 amps of current to operate and its sound level is less than 52 dBA and it has a capacity of 113 pints per day. So now I'm gonna show you all the panels of the dehumidifier and I'm gonna start by showing you the duct connector. So this duct connector goes here on the side of the dehumidifier and this is suitable if you want to like connect a duct that is optional it doesn't come with it so you put it in another room that you want to dry and you put the dehumidifier in another room so to put it in it has pins here align them and then push it up and here it is connected so now let me show you the drain pipe where you connect it so also i'm gonna turn the dehumidifier and on the other side you have the drainage here so you connect the drain pipe to the drainage and you just push it in while turning it slowly like this make sure it goes all the way in like this now i'm gonna show you a little bit how to maintain the dehumidifier so also if you turn it you have the filter here you remove the filter simply like this and then either you change it if you want to change it or you clean it and you have the coils here once a year you need to get a coil foam and you need to spray everything here and then you can uh, simply hose down the foam and uh, wipe it out later like this and it will be cleaned and to put back the filter it's very easy just put it back like this so now I connected the dehumidifier to the power and on the screen here it displays the current humidity. The first thing I want to show you here is that if you wanted to continuously operate what you need to do to bring down the humidity to less than 36 and the display will display CO. So let me bring it down to less than 36. You see it displayed CO and now you turn it on and you wait for it to turn on because the compressor needs a little bit of time to turn on. So the dehumidifier turns on and it will run continuously. So now I want to show you how to set a certain humidity level. So here with these arrows you can set the certain humidity level. So I'm going to bring up the humidity to 50. And now when the humidity reaches 50, the dehumidifier will continue on operating until it goes like two or three degrees below 50. So this way it will stop at this humidity and then when it goes up above 50 it will turn on back again and this is the automatic operation of this dehumidifier. Now you notice that it is a little bit noisy and this is the use of this duct. So if you put it in another room and you want to like dry the room where you are sitting you put the duct in the room where you're sitting and the dehumidifier in another room and this way you avoid the noise so now the humidity reached 50 so it's gonna go down like for 48 or 47 and then the dehumidifier will stop automatically and you're gonna see how it will stop automatically just to let you know that the air that blows out of the opening here is hot air and you notice when the humidity reaches 47 the compressor stopped. So this is the compressor LED light, it stopped and the fan will stop also. And you notice how the dehumidifier stopped now. Even if the humidity is above 50, it is only by 2 degrees above 50 and this is to prevent it from turning off and turning back on again very quickly so that the compressor won't be damaged.
So now it's going to turn back on. So And you see that the compressor is red. It means that the compressor is not ready to be turned on yet. So when this light here turns to green, the dehumidifier will start operating again. And you notice that the dehumidifier started operating again. So now to turn it off, simply press this button and the compressor will turn off. But you need to wait approximately one minute after the compressor turns off for the dehumidifier to turn off completely and for the fan to stop turning. And one word of precaution, never disconnect the dehumidifier from the power before turning it off completely. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin the compressor. And here's the dehumidifier turned off. Now you can disconnect it from the power. If you wanna check out this Allor Air Sentinel HD55 dehumidifier, I'm gonna leave an affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel. I hope that you found my video useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I wanna thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Stuff Around the House. See you in the next video.